Hi, it's uh, Wednesday at four, coming to you from the heart of my home. Actually, I'm coming to you from my living room. And it's a beautiful day. Oh, hi, Sally. It's a beautiful day here in Percival. It is snowing and uh, it's just so pretty outside right now. I have all my white lights on on the house and uh, so it's just been cozy here. My husband's on his way home because uh, they closed the dealership. Hey, Vicki. And so he's gonna be making me a nice fire. We got this impromptu date night tonight. So really looking forward to uh, sharing some nice time with Jerry. Uh, so last week I shared with you uh, three tablescapes and one was a country casual with some natural elements, acorns on the napkins. The other one was formal and elegant and that had a lot of gold and some fairy lights and some nice china and uh, then the last one was our romantic with our little lovebirds and love knots and our meaningful silverware daffodil silverware from my mother-in-law so that was a lot of fun and if you recall i have any we're, we're up to 106 dollars so if you haven't seen last week's and uh, oh, hey, Annabella. It was so much fun to see you over the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so if you haven't seen or watched or anything last week's, please do so and make a reply or a comment or something because for every one uh, that comments and replies or whatever makes comment, I'm giving a dollar to uh, Angel Tree and I'm doing that. Um, I'm gonna wait and add them up at the end until December 20th. So right now I'm at $106. So that is really great. Thank you for everyone who uh, commented. So I'm here to tell you, I was supposed to have a, a guest today and things happened with uh, schedules with the snow and whatnot, which is perfectly fine. Things happen. Hey mom. And uh, I wanted to talk with you then today. I thought, what could I share? And I wanted to share with you a silver lining uh, that has happened during the pandemic. And uh, I can tell you that it's, it's very meaningful to me. It's been very impactful um, to me and also to my family. And what it is, the silver lining, is that we uh, get together on every Sunday, five o'clock my time, four o'clock up north and two o'clock out in California. So with my brother, John, and I actually looked in the very first Zoom call that we did as a family, and it's just my brothers and sisters and my parents. So there's no uh, grandchildren, there's no other spouses. Sometimes a spouse will pop in or a grandchild will pop in and say hi. But the scheduled call is just with my brothers and sisters and my, t my parents. And so um, I'm the last of five. And um, when my older brother and sister moved out of the house um, when I was a teenager, so I, I, my older sister I got to know really well because we worked together for 15 years. But my brother John, I really, he lived out in California. He went out there for college and never came back. So I wasn't as well connected with him. Um, we see each other holidays. Of course, we love each other. It just is different because I just didn't have a lot of knowledge, right? And so what, what, um, hey Minnie, um, what the pandemic has done is, is we have consistently shown up every Sunday. So that's actually 39 Sundays since we started. And I think we, we missed maybe at the most four because either someone was on travel, maybe someone was sick or something like that. Uh, but for the most part, we have all shown up where we connect and we converse and it's been really fun. And I wanted to tell you a couple of the fun things um, and meaningful things. So what we do, how we do it, and you might want to try this with you and your family, uh, is we, one person is um, selected to select a topic. And, uh, and the calls are always an hour long because there's, there were seven of us when we started. And um, so uh, anyways, the, one person is selects a topic and then whoever selects the topic also tells us how we're going to go through the call. So for instance, it might've started maybe with my dad. My dad picked the first topic, I believe. 
and then we roll down from my mom and then all the way to me so each week we rotate so and then so like when it was my week i might say okay the guys go first or the girls go first or number one deborah goes first and so and then we rotate so it, you know we have fun with it and i was going to tell you what some of the topics have been in case you're interested in doing this too so for instance a fond memory growing up sharing something on your bucket list uh our brother john is an architect and so we said well if john could design our home what would it look like uh share a video and most of us were like share a video do we have to do a video and they're like no 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 share a video it could be a video that you have in your phone could be something funny on tv whatever but it has to be four minutes or less and tell us why you select that video oh and we had to sh come and wear a hat on that one that was my uh, um Oh, hey, Terry. That was actually uh, my sister, Becky. She wanted us to wear a hat. So uh, show and tell a weird food that you like. That was a fun one. Uh, now, the one that is kind of hard for me to even share is the last Sunday call that we had with my dad. And um, that was, I can't believe this topic was our last topic. And it was... Um, what are your beliefs about life after death? And that was my sister, Becky, and two. And we all were like, oh, you know. And, uh, and it was actually one of the best calls we ever had. It was just so, um, it was so wonderful to know how we all feel about this. And of course, knowing how my dad felt before his passing. So um, we also had one like, what is the principal business of life? Like, that was my brother John and uh, uh, what personality traits did you get from your parents what legacy do you want to leave so what is your New Year's resolution for 2021 so you get the picture that it's been so meaningful beyond words so I hope you know you don't have to do it every Sunday but during the holidays where so so many people are not gathering you know maybe connecting on a, a more intentional level um you know would be help to connect because that's what i think we're all missing that connection right now right and so i just know for me we all talked about it last week if we um are going to be continuing and we all just cherish it i asked some family members their what their feedback was and you know my mom says it's just been priceless she also said that she learned a few more of our mischievous things that we had done that she thought she knew them all but apparently not so it's a little fun it's a little thought provoking it's intimate it's heartfelt we're connecting our hearts and a lot of golden nuggets are coming out of these calls. And so I encourage you to try it. And um, so the other thing I wanted to tell you that if you have a hard time coming up with ideas, this is so fun. Do you guys know what table topics are? Um, whoops. Anyways, I've had these for a long time and you can buy all different uh, types of table topics. Like this is the original edition, but you can have something for a family edition, a book club edition, topics to go, uh, couples uh, topics. But anyways, what they are is like you pick a random card out of the box and then you see, then you maybe that could be your topic. So um, how would you like to spend your elder years? That's a good question. Um, let's see, what's the best way to spend a rainy weekend or a snowy day? <laughs> So anyways, if you guys um, haven't seen these, these are so cool. But what I'm going to tell you is anyone that makes a comment or a reply or whatever, well, your name will get into a drawing. And next week um, on December 23rd, I will let you know who won and I'll draw and uh, they'll get a series of table topics. And it's really a lot of fun. It's something that We've done like a Thanksgiving as a family. We take some random. So anyways, I wanted to let you know about that. So do you guys like this idea of these consistent Zoom calls? Um, if you do, let me know. And if you try it, let me know, okay? So again, it's been a very wonderful, wonderful silver lining during a very challenging time in our lives, right? 
Uh, I know everyone is, has had a lot of challenges this year. I feel for the small businesses, for people that have dealt with being ill or any passing. And so uh, I know it's a very serious thing, so I want to make sure you understand. I'm just sharing a little glimpse and something that as a family, how we have tried to make it a blessing right now for us to connect and, and love each other. So anyways, oh, hey, Stephanie. Wow, so nice to see you. I, I hope you're doing well. I see you have a new home. So congratulations on that. Um, okay, so for next week, I wanted to tell you that um, that December 23rd we'll be doing the drawing and then next week it's just going to be a little bit similar theme in the sense of uh, that I want you to tell me next week. Come on on my live or on the replay and let me know something that you're grateful for because it's a it's a season that you know we're ending the year and we're going into a new year and there, we have a lot to be grateful for. Um, and I'd love to hear from you. So that's what I have for today. Just a little pop in. Sometimes when you have a cancellation, it can ma make a, a fun difference, right? So thanks for stopping in everyone. As always, thumbs up, lots of love and keep smiling. Oh, and if you missed it, we posted a picture of one of our, our second Zoom call that we had. And cause you know, that was in the middle of the lockdown. And so I came to it like, oh, hey, I'm doing great with this, this COVID. How about you guys? And I came with, I looked all disheveled and had a cigarette hanging out of my mouth. Looked like I'd been drinking for days. <laughs> Anyways, I did it for fun. So we posted that picture so you can have fun with it get connected, have some conversations, be intentional, get to know your family members rather than just at the holidays, okay? All right, take care.